what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Six days to go. Today is the day we load the boat on the trailer and prepare everything to transport the boat to France. Here brings my uncle René the trailer. He's a part-time truck driver and he knows how to load and to secure heavy loads. First we had to move the boat to a place where we have a lot of space for the loading. I really want to thank my father and René for helping me loading the boat on the trailer and preparing everything for the transport. Without their help this project wouldn't be possible. It's 8 o'clock in the morning and we are still in Gudrefin. Um, we have a car, everything is ready but the uh, electricity of the car is not working. So the trailer has no lights and we can't go, we can't, we can't drive like this. The problem was not the electronics of the car. The cables from the trailer were heavily corroded. The whole transport was close to abort. I desperate connected some cables and I had luck. With a two hours delay we started our trip. After long 14 hours of driving, we arrived well in our apartment. There was even a pool, but at this time of the year it was reserved for the birds and not for humans. The next step was to unload the boat again. During the unloading process, the ramp was sliding away. We had to lift the trailer with a jack and we moved the ramp back in position. On the next day, we mounted the outriggers to the main hull. So 
so we are ready to launch the boat. I had the great idea to hold the trailer just with a rope on the coupling of the car. Of course, this was not working at all. The trailer got out of control and he ran into the water. Half of the boat was floating, the other half was still on the trailer. I had to go into the water to push the boat from the trailer. At the end it worked out. The only question which remained was, can we bring the trailer out of the water? The trimaran was floating again. On the next day we had an appointment for setting the mast. We are finally leaving Port Camargue. <laughs> After five days of very hard work, we sailed the boat from Port Camargue to La Grande Mont. A special thank to my parents for helping me with that big project. In the next episode we will meet Rayleigh and Elena from Sailing La Vacabond and join them for the big splash of their new boat. A big thank to all the people who supported me. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. And I got the first two Patreons. It's my brother and his fiancée. Thanks a lot for that.